Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video of mine. It means so much that you guys can click on these videos. If you keep clicking, I'll keep... Ah, let's try that again. If you keep clicking, I'll keep making them. Today we're going to go 11 through 20 for fi for the final jur jurors ranking uh, series. Uh, this is the second part. There will be a third part dropping the day after this and the fourth part dropping two days from now. So let's get right into it. Starting off, we have Rafe. For me, Rafe is... Oh, hold on. John, fair play is behind Rob. Hold on. Just just, just ha ha had had to make that clear. I'm putting Rafe behind fair play uh, just because I feel like Rob Sestrino and Johnny fair play had more opportunities to win the game, whereas in Rafe, Rafe had to go up against Stephanie um, because if he had got, gone up against Sydney, Danny, um, all of them, he loses. And Sydney was his, you know, his big ally. Um, you know, for him, my, my like my my and, and you know his his big flaw being that he did not understand that Lydia was not going to be a, a jury threat and that D Danny was. Honestly, I think if if he takes out Danny at four and it's him, Lydia, and Stephanie, he beats any of them, and they're probably both going to take him to the end. And so I feel like that's something where if it, he is one mistake away from getting to the end. Um, but I feel like that mistake was so much more of a blunder versus fair play was him a, a, a aligning with the, the wrong person. And also Burton taking him on, on the reward and the, the, the ladies, you know, you know, skimming against uh, fair play and taking out Burton and Rob's was just not w w winning for final immunity. Um, and so I feel like those mistakes are less than brief, just simply not un understanding that he he that all he has to do is take out Danny in, in F4 and he wins the game. But going back to positive, I mean, he has complete control over the post merge game. Uh, him and him and uh, Stephanie have like most of, of the control um, pre merge. He d does a good job not doing what. Uh, Brian did in as in in being too, too much of a strategic threat. Um, he had, he had a pretty good social game. He did all the the moves that um, Stephanie did, but without you know the bluntness and without creating you know the the bad persona that Stephanie had. Um, and, and so I feel like Rafe Rafe played a really good game. It's just that his mistake was a little bit worse worse than Fair Play's or Cesarino's mistake. Moving on, we have Terry. Terry for me is tough. I mean, it, it, so the, the thing with Terry is Terry had zero control in in the game strategic wise. Um, the entire post merge. It, sorry, hold on. He played a fantastic pre merge. If the game had just been the you know his pre merge stride, he easily wins. He had complete control. Wh whoever he wanted to go home won, and he um, he had taken people who were b big enough threats with him to the merge that. Uh, he had a shot, even if he he, he did, didn't win the, the first immunity challenge, uh, still not being the 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 merge boot because of the fact that Nick and Austin were such big threats. Um, but because of the fact that he comes in with the my m minority and cannot flip Bruce and um and and uh, Bruce and Danielle. At, at, at the merge, and he continuously fails to do this at several votes in a row. At first, he only need, 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 only need, needed to flip Bruce and use his, his idol correctly. He didn't do that. In, instead, he, he kept it for himself. Speaking of he, he, keeping his idol for himself, he, he did that so many times when he he, he could have you know fl s s swung the game if he had just fl you know fl 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 like use his idol and then flip you know flips flip somebody like, like a Bruce or or, or Danielle. But you know, instead he, he he fails to do this, and instead he plays the game where if where he needs to win the final challenge, and that's not a game that I can respect or a, a game that really shows dominance. His, his only dominance was in the physical dominance, and even then, towards the end, when you really need, need, you know needed to show his you know physical dominance, he couldn't do it. And so I feel like for that reason, I'm gonna have to throw him at the bottom. I'm putting him in C tier. I, I I genuinely think, and I'm I'm gonna throw Keith down to C tier as well. I'm putting him in front of Rudy. 
No, I'm, I'm putting him behind Rudy. Rudy actually had a shot at winning, and he was in a immunity challenge away. And so was Terry, but at, but Rudy at least had had control post merge. Terry did not have any strategical control post merge. I I just finished uh, rewatching C C season twelve a, a while back, and the whole time I'm thinking, all you need to do is flip Bruce and use your idol. But instead, he holds onto it and holds onto it and holds onto it. And he, he doesn't even end up having to use. It. He never even uses the idol. He he does not use the idol nearly as well as as you will use the exact same idol next season. And for that reason, I just cannot respect his game. Moving on, Sundra. Sundra, for me, uh, I think my issue with Sundra's game is that she has a 0% chance of winning. She doesn't beat Ozzy, she doesn't beat Yule, and she she doesn't beat Becky. If now, if Becky was the, this person, I, I, I would put her higher because I sincerely think that Becky had a shot at, at winning against Ozzy because of, of the fact that, that that she's basically like, you know, the Yule, like mini Yule. Like, so if Yule can win, then Becky had a really good shot at winning. But I, I, I feel like with Sundra, there, she wasn't beating Ozzy. She wasn't beating Yule. She wasn't beating um, uh, Becky. And I feel like for that reason, I, I, I have to put her below Terry. Ah, you know what? No, she, 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 she's going to go D tier. Um, Right, right above Jan. I, I feel like both Jan and Sundra, uh, they just never had a chance of winning with the people that they were with. And I feel like for that reason, I just cannot uh, reward that with uh, with, with Sundra. Um, even if she she had won the fire challenge, she still wouldn't have got uh, Becky's vote. She wouldn't have got any of any of the jury's vote. Uh, I can at least give Be Be Becky credit for, for for the fact that she she could have made a move and possibly you know. G g g gone to the end against Ozzy and maybe have won, but with Sundra, I, I just see no way that Sundra wins. Really, uh, yeah. After she uh, swaps onto the tribes that aren't based on race, I feel like her game's over. Her game's just gone. Moving on, Yao Man. Yao Man is going right back up uh, above Kathy. My issue with with Yao Man is that. He could. He never thought to get Earl out. He never thought, "Hey, like, uh, let let me blindside Earl." When Earl was going to win that season, one hundred percent against anybody, the entire cast, Earl beats anybody in final tribal. And for that reason, I I fault Yao Man for not being, you know, for for not taking out Earl when he could have. I will credit Yao Man though. He played just as good as a you know a, a game as Earl, except for the fact that you know. He didn't have the the, the the same amount of jury votes that that, that that Earl had, but the reason why what, the the reason why he goes ahead of Kathy and Lex, and Lex is supposed to be right there, um, is because Kathy and Lex had to have certain people, or sorry, Kathy and Lex had rocky uh, pre merges, whereas in Yao Man had a very strong pre merge and a, a very strong post merge. Kathy and Lex also had people in the, the post merge who could beat them. Several people, uh, whereas in Yao Man just had the Earl, and I feel like overall Yao Man used his, his idol correctly. Whereas in Lex, obviously didn't have any idols. Kathy didn't have any idols. Uh, with Kathy, it's it's very obvious, and I, I think with Lex and Yao Man, it's close. Um, and although Lex might have might might have had more control over the game, I feel like Yao Man has more pass uh, to win the game. Because and, and it's really it's really just because he, he was playing with a really high caliber of player in Earl. Moving on, Denise. Uh, Denise. 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 Denise can go low C. Denise for me, it, it's one of those things where she was just always going to get cut for. Uh, I, I didn't really see much strategical ability in her. I, I didn't see much dominance. She she was in the alliance, but she, she was always fourth on the the, the totem pole. And she really didn't have a say strategically pre merge or post merge. There isn't much to say about Denise that you know you, you, you didn't see on the island. On the island, she followed instructions and got booted out. You know, at fourth, I really don't don't think that, that she beats all any three of them. Really, I think a man beats her even with a, a man is terrible to, um, final tribal performance. I think Courtney beats her, and I, I think Todd definitely beats her. So I feel like she she just has no shot. Um, and yeah, Sari. All the way from C, and we're flying right up S tier. Sari is at the top of, the, of this one for me. I, I, I just, I simply feel that Sari wins this game if it's a final three. Sari wins this game 
even though it and then e even though it's a, a final, final two, all all she had to do is win the challenge and she beats either of them. If, if now if it, if it's a final three, she probably wins three to two to two because the the jury was uh wait hold on no she wins four to to, to, to two to two because it was a jury of eight right no no because if it was a final three then the jury w w w w would have been uh seven people and if that's the case then it would have been um uh three to two to two uh and so i feel like the alliance that she was in even though she, you know she she without you know having to have like a boyfriend on the jury like you know um amanda has with with ozzy or that you know poverty had with james she 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 just made the bonds and was able to, to pull off moves she had more of a say in the eric eric boot she had more of a say in the, the jason blind side she's the, the one who really coerced jason to to her and poverty to to hop off the thing when they were gonna blindside it was her and poverty who, who mainly uh, but blindsided Ozzy. So she, she did uh, she did ev everything that, that, that Poverty did. And um, because of the fact that they thought that it, it was going to be a f final three going into uh, to, to the season, I feel like if, if we play out that uh, scenario, she, she wins the game. And for that reason, she, she's the highest. She didn't even have to win the final four uh, immunity challenge because, you know, as far as, as they thought, it was fi final three and they, they voted out um, Nat Natalie. So for me, like Rob had, like Rob just got to the end and played the game to win final uh, immunity um fair play went to the end with the, the wrong people and rafe um didn't vote out danny sari just got screwed by having a f final two when she was planning for a, a f final three and if that hadn't happened we have a uh, our winner sari Moving on, we have Maddie. Maddie, 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 Maddie. So Maddie's going to go in front of Jenna, but behind Scout. Um, positives about Maddie's game. He plays very, um, he plays in, in a way where he's very like self-preserving. He goes into the, to the merge with a big target and is able to grab the uh, majority and make a critical bond with Susie, where Susie um, comes o over, over to his side. Um, and he's able to survive that like fake merge where they 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 vote out Marcus. Um, and f from there on, Maddie uh, does great. He's never really in serious trouble. And his downfall is the fact that Sugar's crazy. And for that reason, I can respect his game because if Sugar's not crazy enough to tie it up and have Bob go at at, at him and fire, I, I think it, it, uh, Maddie, Susie, and Sugar final three is one hundred percent an easy, 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 easy win for him. Um, so I feel like his path to the end was really good and that without, without sugar messing it up, I think he's uh, definitely an average to semi-good average winner, which, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, cons, he works with with uh, sugar too much and he can't gauge sugar and make sure that, that uh, you know, sugar's on the, the same page for for that, that vote. Um, he also almost loses the, the numbers at, at, at the merge and he does not do good in challenges at all so i feel like maddie's like a pretty average final juror and i feel like he's not too bad but he's not he's not too good either aaron aaron's gonna be behind terry uh for me aaron aaron's very similar to to, to denise in, in in the fact that if she had s stick with uh you know her, her alliance she gets cut at probably five she makes the the better move in in going with jt and steven which causes her to get to final three but then my issue is she has no chance of getting to the end no chance and e unless steven wins because she's not winning that that challenge so it's either steven wins um and if that's the case then steven takes her and crushes her um probably like probably seven to zero probably um or JT wins and takes Steven. So I feel like um, Aaron is not someone who ever really ha had a chance of winning, uh, going into the final uh, final 10, really, just like the, the, the merge in general. I, I think her social game is very flawed, as you see on the Ponderosas, that people really don't respect her and they're, they, they, they constantly mock her. I feel like she just was not playing a winning game for me. Brett. Brett from Samoa. Brett, 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 Brett. So Brett is at top of C tier for me because of the fact that if glue had stayed together and had not gotten rustled, um, 
Russell is now a verb in my dictionary. Yes, it is. <laughs> but if Galoo had, had not got rustled, I think Brett's in the per perfect spot to win. Um, because now you have Laura Moret, Monica, uh, Dave Ball, him, and the Parvati's boyfriend, whatever his name is. And I think from there you get um, Laura, Laura Moret going and then Monica, and you have uh, that all-male final three. And then from there, I'm, I'm, we're, we're looking at an easy Brett win. Brett played a great social game. He didn't do uh, great strategically. Um, and I feel like Brett's only way to the end was to just get there with the people that were more un un unlikable to him. And the, the fact that he, he didn't have a lot of uh, strategical capital within the, the pre-merge or the post-merge really uh, leads me to put him in C. But he is above the uh, uh, other people in C because he had a, a path to, to win the game, whether it's respectable or not. And the last one for this part, we have Jerry Manthe. You have Jerry Manthe, the black, the black widow, you know, the ultimate villain, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, Jerry, for me, I think Jerry is is a, a, a high B for me. I feel like Jerry's Jerry had a clear path. Jerry's uh, spot in the Jerry's path to win was the same path as Sandra. Just get to the end with p p poverty and Russell, and really, she, she was just one final immunity challenge away, or e even just c convincing Russell. Uh, to keep her o over Sandra o o away from winning, um, I think her and Coach, or no, so not 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 her and Coach, her flipping with uh, Russell to take out Danielle was re really good for her game because Danielle w was taking up a a, a spot in the f final three for her. Um, I I feel like she she played the whole game un un understanding that Russell's not gonna, gonna win. Poverty, if Poverty and Russell are in the Final, uh, th you know, th three together. Parvi is also not going to win, and so she just ne needed that last spot, and she couldn't get it. But but the fact that she had a really really good good chance of getting getting that last spot and playing the same game as Sandra really and, and getting getting the win leads me to to, to give her uh, a high B placement. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. It means a lot that that, that you guys can click on them. If, if you if you if you keep clicking, I'll keep making the videos. Um, we'll have uh twenty one to thirty uh tomorrow dropping. Um. Uh, 81% of you guys who aren't, aren't watching these videos are, are are not subscribed. That's an absolute travesty. It's easy. It's free. And if that's all, thank you for watching.